So we are done with the installation and in this video I'm going to show you guys how you can install KS Drafter for your daily workflow. So on the screen right now we have a logo that I created for a client around two years back. On the left side we have this example where total time I spent it creating the grid lines and everything was around 120 minutes by using all the shapes and lines and everything. And on the right side we have an example that is created with KS Drafter in just a click. This is how much time saving KS Drafter can be. And now Let's see how you guys can utilize case drafter. First of all, you need to create a new document and the document size should be always less than 4000 by 4000 pixels. I created a document that is 1920 by 1080. The artboard height and width should be always less than 4000 by 4000 pixels since the maximum size of the grid line is around 4000 pixels. After using the script, since it creates a vector, you can edit the grid lines, stroke, width, fill of the shapes and everything. Now we have an example on our screen. Always try to keep the size of the logo more than 300 by 300 pixels because we have fixed size for the shapes that creates on top of nodes. So I'm going to select the logo, I'm going to file scripts and run case draft. There are some extra lines created double click on clipping mask and delete all the extra lines that you don't want. So I'm defining it a bit and we are done. When you run the script, it creates a clipping mask based on the size of the artboard. You can double click on it and change the color and stroke size of the shape. Since it's creating a clipping mask, you can modify each and everything inside this. You can select the shapes and delete these or, or you can change the color of these. So I'm going with dark black color and we are good. Now let's jump on some of the examples. Let's discuss some of the limitations. So on my screen right now, we have a word mark. Make sure this is grouped. Select the logo, go to file, run case drafter. And this is how the lines and everything are getting created. I don't want some of these. So I'm going to delete. The refinement is done and this is how the logo looks. Now let's go to another example and see how it works. So in this example, we have two shapes separately. Just select those, group it, select the shape, go to file scripts and run case drafter. Now again, there are some extra shapes and lines that are created. Just remove all those and we are good with it. Just to give it a clean look and we can remove the shape or add maybe a solid fill there. Now let's go to another example, select the logo. Go to file scripts and run case drafter there are some of the lines that are extra getting created so i'm going to remove some of these by refining it at the end this is a script so some manual work is actually required to refine everything and i want one line here one here and the last one right on top of this node and maybe one here and we are good with it so this hardly took me around 20 to 25 seconds to do it. Now let's discuss some of the limitations that we have noticed. In this example, we have a logo text that is not actually created on grid. So if you see, we see the number of nodes and everything. These are too many. So if I try to run the script right now on this, this is how it's getting created. Don't try to use the script on top of a logo that is not created on a grid. In this example, we have WV logo. This is created by Vishwajit Designs and Vishwajit, thank you for reporting this. So in this example, I'm going to run the script and this is not working. The reason it's not working, this is a compound path with multiple groups. This particular shape is created with shape builder tool and this is a compound path. So then just release the compound path, select the logo and use pathfinder on top of it. Ungroup it, delete the extra shape that you have and then select the logo, go to file scripts and run case drafter. If you have a logo that is created using compound path, this is how you can simplify it and use it. This is actually a good practice before sharing your logo with your clients or anyone. Just simplify the logo and try to refine it as much as possible. At the end, this is going to be helpful. This is the last example. Select the logo, go to file scripts and run it. 
and this is how you can use ks drafter in your daily workflow this is it for this video if you guys notice any bug or anything just let me know i'll try to resolve those and please subscribe to the channel because in future if you guys report any bug i'm surely going to record videos around those and show you guys the solution